All right, CCT, let's try this again. How is everybody? I apologize for that a second ago. Let's see if we can get some viewers on. All right. Okay, so can everybody hear me? No issues, huh? All right. Let me get Brian on. Now, I hate, to, hate, I hate that I messed up that great introduction because I had a great one. So uh, I'm going to do this real quick. Brian, bear with me. Um, since we're starting this, com this video completely over, uh, what we've got today is we have two superstars in the space, as I put in the, in the, uh, in the initial post. Uh, we have uh, Brian Dorian and, um, and Tom Bradshaw. These guys, better known as Snappy and PressTab for uh, you Pivx folks, these guys are, are just absolute rock stars in the space. And I couldn't be more excited about having them on. Um, I'm, as you guys have heard me say, big on these privacy coins for 2018. Um, and Pivx is doing, and they're one of the, the, the uh, up and coming privacy coins. They've been around for some time. So I'm going to go ahead and bring him on um, and get this show on the road. I'm sorry about everybody who had to, to rejoin. So let's try. All right. So I've got him adding on right now. But anyways, I hope everybody's having a happy new year. This is the first live video. Well, technically the second now since the first one messed up. But the, uh, the first live session of the year for uh, CCT. And so I look to continue these. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go in a little bit more detail after, uh, after this interview is over. We're going to have both of these guys come on back to back. So uh, first we'll have Brian on, who's one of the community developers for Pivx. And then we'll have, uh, we'll have um, Tom come on afterwards. So you guys will hopefully – hold on one second – Hey, try to join me uh, this time, Brian. I just tried joining you. It didn't say it was, uh, it was working. But, um, you know, privacy coins are going to be big in 2018. Um, there's a lot of reasons why. I'm not going to go into too much detail. You can pick your own reasons. Uh, kind of the, the, the backbone of what crypto has always been. Okay, so I got you right here. All right. Um, and, you know, as crypto's kind of evolved, I can hear you, bro. I'm, can you hear me? I can hear you. Hooray! Hey, man, welcome to CCT, bro. Awesome. Hey, so Joe, I wanted to also say, uh, I don't know if you saw, congrats to you, congrats to uh, CCT. You guys just crossed 70,000 in your group. Boom! I don't know if you saw yes, that. Like, I, that is I did. huge, dude. Congrats. I did. Thank you for bringing that up, by the way. You're actually one of the yeah. first people to acknowledge even just our membership, let alone uh, the fact that we, it is a milestone for us. Um, as we head towards 100,000, which I can't even begin to conceptualize at the moment, um, we're so happy to have you as members now, man. You guys contributed to that 70,000. Thank you. Thank you. We're, we're, uh, Look, we're, we're glad to be here. For sure, man. I want to give a big shout out to my boy, Mike, uh, who connected us. Uh, Mike has been somebody that has been a virtual friend of mine. I consider him a good friend. I look forward to actually meeting him and the two of y'all in Miami soon. But Mike, this goes out to you, bro. Anyway, so, uh, all right, Brian, so tell us a little bit about yourself, man. What do you do for uh, the Pivx community? Yeah, so uh, I, I think I'm the, people tell me, like, I'm, I'm a community energy Sherpa. Um, nice. You know, it kind, of, it kind of spans from marketing to community engagement to vision casting. Basically, uh, I mean, as you know, in, in a lot of these projects in a decentralized movement, you wear a lot of hats, right? So um, a lot of the hats that I tend to wear fall in the realm of spanning from marketing, talking to devs, talking to community, um, and then just basically becoming a face um, for this project. Like, as you mentioned, there was a rebrand of Pivx, right? So Pivx was DNet or Darknet. Um, when it was first launched, uh, it was talked about in 2015, actually, in November. And then it was launched in 2016, January. And uh, when there was this whole transition phase and there was a rebrand, which I'm sure we'll talk about, um, you know, everything started exploding and people were looking around going, well, where do we get information? Who do we talk to? And one thing just led to another. And I just kept talking to people and building relationships and talking. And the next thing you know, I'm making videos and flying around the world and talking to people and having interviews with awesome people like yourself. So, yeah, it's a uh, it's a humbling experience to kind of. Uh, in some ways represent a lot of what Pivx is, but also just represent myself. So that's what's fun Absolutely. about Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So, um, you know, of course I, I can go back and, you know, some of my earliest memories of Pivx were February, March ish when it was, you know, hovering around eight, nine cents. Next yeah. thing you know, it's a dollar, right? Yeah. And uh, one of the CCT co-founders, uh, his name is Justin Hart. I'm, hopefully he's watching. If not, he knew this was coming. He might be busy with work, but, uh, but Justin has been a huge Pivx supporter from the, from the very beginning. 
And, uh, you know, he's kind of in my, in my smaller group, he's, he's been that supporter and, uh, he's enlightened us, um, along the way. Uh, but I'm not going to say that I was always a huge Pivx fan because, you know, I wasn't even always a huge Dash fan. And now I'm a big Dash fan. Uh, Bill Klein, who's one of my mentors, um, he's a big, big Dash guy. I don't know if you know who he is or not, but he's an absolute superstar, one of my heroes. Uh, but uh, Pivx kind of, they are a, did I say this correctly, code for it, correct? Yep. Of Dash. Yep. Yeah. Tell us so, a little bit about that in, in that correlation. Yeah. And so I'm sure, um, you know, Press Tab, who you have on later, will be great to talk more about the tech the tech guts yeah, of yeah, it. Sure. So, I mean, sure. you know, in, in this crypto realm, um, Bitcoin being sort of the nexus point of, you know, cryptocurrencies. And then you look at all the forks and the tentacles that come out from there and you have, you know, forks of Bitcoin and copies of Bitcoin, you have forks mm. of Dash and Litecoin, et cetera, et cetera. So yeah, from a code base, right? So if you go back into our GitHub repo, which is, I would encourage anybody in crypto to get used to going into GitHub repos and looking, right? So this is a little bit of a tangent, but let's go on it, right? Why? Absolutely, because do when, it. When, when you look in the GitHub, you can see activity, right? So you can see what developers are actually doing, whether a coin's being worked on or not, and, and to what degree, right? So that's just a little throw out. So when you look into For the sure. GitHub repo of Pivx, you'll see there's Bitcoin Core, right? And that's actually one of the developers and Press can talk to that. We're working on updating it to the latest core of Bitcoin, which comes with a lot of special goodies, et cetera, which they can talk about. And then nice. Dash, right? So what Dash did was some really cool technological advantages and upgrades like master nodes, treasuries, et cetera. Again, we can talk about that later, right? So that was sort of the, the beginning building blocks, right? Innovation is innovation. So you build, you build, you build. A patent goes out and then you iterate on that. So in cryptos, you have Bitcoin, Dash, and then the developer said, okay, we've got these foundational building blocks. What are we going to build on top? And how do we make this better? And how do we innovate and push privacy and, and usability, which I think Pivx has done extremely well. So Absolutely. I, and I got to agree with that. And, you know, I'll say, you know, just from my perspective and one of the reasons why that uh, uh, Pivx is one of my 2018 pick and holds, you know, um, and, you know, I got to be real careful with my, with, my, uh, with my role and my leadership and my responsibility to this community. I'm not sitting here saying, hey, everybody go buy Pivx. That's not what I'm saying. Uh, what I, what I want to reiterate, though, is that this coming up year is going to be a, a defining year for crypto. I mean, we kind of saw the excitement in 2017, but 2018 is really going to be what puts crypto on the map to the mass media. You know, and so we're going to see a lot of brand new people, a lot of people yeah. who have no idea what cryptocurrencies or why they started or what their intention was. All, this, all they're seeing is money, the potential of money. And, yeah. you know, that's and I hate to bring this part up. And I know you probably don't want to hear about this, but the fact that Pivx is so cheap right now compared to what it probably will be in the next 12 to 18 months um, is going to be really um, it's going to be really sexy to a lot of investors. And yeah. uh, again, not to not really to get into that that aspect of it, but it, that along with the actual product that you guys have laid on the ground for the people who are in the, in the users, you know, of this and the believers of the, of this, of this project, I believe that's really going to make Pivx explode. There's no reason why this isn't hit triple figures in us dollar value over the long term. Now that's not today, folks don't run out. Buy yeah. that. That's not what I'm saying. But you know, for me as someone who wants to lead my community into a, into an area that is, is safer and more uh, precise on what they're doing, Pivx kind of checks all those boxes, you know, and so I know there's some developments coming up and I know press tab Tom is going to handle a lot of those, but go ahead and go into yeah. a little bit what you guys have coming up, especially on the marketing and, and, and the angle, maybe you guys are, you're, you're the approach you're taking. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> I think, uh, if, if you, if you're first to Pivx, if this is the first time you've heard about it, of course, welcome. Um, you know, there's a lot of information out there. Of course, go to the website, go to our YouTube channels. There's a lot of you know, whether it's instructional videos, education videos, updates, uh, et cetera, there is a lot about Pivx. And, you know, again, thanks very much for what you just said about Pivx. Um, Absolutely. There's so many different angles, right? So one of the things I think, you know, for me, from a big vision, there was a couple threads that got thrown around on Twitter. People were saying, hey, Pivx kind of feels like Apple, just with much better technology, right? So nothing against Apple. I'm That's not, a good I'm not perspective, Apple. yeah. But and what they were going at is it's a it's a brand. It's a feel. It's something where you begin to trust it. Right. That takes time. And so this is a this is a, you know, a, a big, big shout out to the entire Pivx community, to the developers, to the marketing, et cetera, to have a vision of when you want to build something for the long term, when you want to build trust, when you want to establish a reputation as something that is trustworthy. 
that takes time, right? It's easy to, as you said, it's easy to fluff. And I, I love what you just said about, hey, I don't, I don't want to push and say, go buy, go buy, go buy. Why? Because that's not what we're about at a core. And that's the same thing with Pivx is it's built yep. on something deeper rooted about, and quite frankly, one of the things that your group says, community, right? So at the end yes. of the day, it's about people. All this tech, yes. it is just for me, and I say this, it is just a code representation of your core values, right? Exactly at the end right. of the day, exactly. it's us, it's the people. So from Mark, yeah, go ahead. No, I was going to say what you just said to me about like how this community right here has come together and it's not always, you know, rainbows and butterflies. There's plenty of, you know, people who, who cause issues, but just like in any community, you know, um, nevertheless, that right there speaks to me so much. And I can, I can relate what the Pivx community is doing in that grassroots effort. That's yeah. how CCT started. And you guys are older than us, of course, and your community is probably bigger. I mean, I don't know if it's 70,000, but you know, there's, it's kind of a focal, it's a focus point there, but I love the way that your community has always been grassroots and it's never gotten too big. It's not big headed. Like some of these other projects, you know, I mean, go, yeah. go, go find, go find, you know, the Ethereum developers and see how easy it is to get a hold of them. You know, um, I just don't see the way that you guys do business. Um, ever going to be too big for somebody. And that's what I absolutely love about what you guys have been doing, especially you. That's kind of your job. Thank you. Well, and then the other thing, what's really nice about this is like, that's the core, what matters most at the end of the day, right? What matters most is people. It's the relationships, it's integrity, it's taking the high road, yes. it's solid development, et cetera. What's also yes. really incredible about Pivx is the built in governance, right? So this gets yes. a back to the tech start is, Hey, should should the community ever feel that things are going off kilter, they can vote it to come back. Or should they feel we need to go in this direction, that vote can occur. And that is a cool. community consensus vision. So, um, yeah, so uh, back, to your, back to your initial point uh, about, like, what's coming up for Pivx. So, obviously, we'll see you at uh, BTC Miami, right? So, 18th, 19th. Again, anybody who's down there come hang out like let's let's meet face to face it's it's awesome Absolutely. we'll grab a beer glass of wine whatever um we got a couple other conferences we'll be in uh i think it's changes in may we'll be the blockchain in philippines is coming up in march we got invited to. oh wow so there's cool yeah it's a lot of cool global traveling that'll be coming up um so that's really awesome from an event standpoint um yeah there's some well cool, you know I'm, I'm, yeah. like i said at the very beginning you know it's cool that like uh mike reached out to me to get us together next thing you know he tells me he's going to miami and the same day i mean i figure out i'm going to miami essentially <laughs> you know and now i now i find out you guys are going to miami which is gonna be cool man y'all gonna have yeah. a booth set up yeah yeah so we will um we will have a booth set up i uh, don't know the details yet we'll we'll get those but we'll be we'll be presenting um we actually got asked and invited to come down um awesome, so it's, yeah it's, awesome. it's an honor it's a it's a real honor no, uh, and, you know, I, I look forward to kind of maybe just uh, messing with you guys a little bit, but just, just <laughs> having the opportunity to shoot the shit with y'all and just have a good time. All right, yeah. so tell me this. All right, so, you know, you go, you go by uh, Snappy Snap, right? Yeah. How did that happen? Um, my wife is going <laughs> to laugh her, her proverbial ass off with this one. So back, back in the OG crypto days, right? So for people who remember Cripsy, BTC, um, you know, like way, way, way back when, which is, you know, what, four or five years ago, six years. I know. Um, you know, back then it was real steampunk, the, the Uber nerds, which I don't even know how I found my way in. That's a long story. We'll talk about it over beers. Um, <laughs> cause I'm not the Uber tech nerd dude. I mean, I, I play around Me with you. Exactly. So we get along, um, bro. We get along. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, you know, everybody has handles, right? Everybody yep. had all these handles and cool ones. And I don't even know where it came from. I think somebody said, wow, like you're real fast. You, you're really snappy about things. And so I was like, huh? All right, I guess I'll, my, my nickname will be Snappy Snap. So thus it became <laughs> The places that, that could go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we'll leave it at that. And then, yeah, yeah, and then that just, that was me throughout the cryptosphere, right? So when I was in cryptosphere, people knew me as Snappy Snap. Um, so yeah, it's kind of yeah. snuck, it's stuck all the way through. So uh, well, I'll take it. I mean, I, my name's just Joe, and I was just saying this on the first live video that we did that kind of got messed up, which I apologize for, by the way, Brian. I don't know why I couldn't hear you. I was that's why you know beforehand we practiced, and I was like, you know, my my Bluetooth. I noticed my Bluetooth wasn't working right, and I was like, hmm, let me put, let me try this again. So, anyways, but uh, I'm, my name is just Joe, and I don't have any cool nicknames, you know. <laughs> so I've had several people call me Crypto Joe. And that's just too basic. I don't know. Yeah. So, uh, nevertheless, I'm going to just stick with Joe until something else happens. All right. So what else you got, man? Let, let's talk before I br have to uh, bring uh, Tom on here. 
Yeah, so, um, I mean, this sort of goes back to the vision of Pivx from a whole ethos. And this, this talks about like the human component um, is one of the metaphors that we use a lot of time. And I think you guys do it as well. You don't use these specific phrases, but within your community. So we talk about a table, right? So when you yeah. come over, when you're invited to somebody's house for the first time, or it's a family gathering, there's a table. Everyone congregates there, has food, talks, etc. So one of the easy ways or ways we came up with as a feeling is you love to be invited in for a meal. Like I'm looking forward to having a, you know, sharing a beer with you. Like we're looking forward to that. Yeah, man. Exactly if the first, right. yep. if the first time I meet you, never knew you. And I come in and I kick the table over and throw the beer in your face. Trolls, right? <laughs> Trolls. Then, you listen enough CCT? Listen. Yeah. So then when you, when you get that feeling, it's easy to identify, dude, you don't do that at a dinner table. I'm inviting you into my house. You don't just come in here and kick the table yep. over. Let's sit down, have a beer, chat about it. We can get heated. It's okay, but Absolutely. done that way. And so yep. what happened is from early on, we created uh, this sense, and I say we proverbially, I think it's the collective us wanting something better, wanting something different to say, we want to identify as people, right? Because what happened, what we're seeing in crypto is people are getting sucked into how much profit can I make? There's nothing wrong with that, except it tends to pull you out of you and into yep. just a machine focused on profits, 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 not, hey, is this actually good for the world? Is it good for me? Is it good for my community? What, what matters most? And then you, you lose that humanity component. And so that got sure. ingrained in the beginning. And I think that's where people in the beginning with Pivx were went, wow, there's this crazy pump. And then the price, you know, of course, it tapers off. And yep. it's held. It retraced and a little bit. Yep. Yeah. And so people, people immediately went, oh, it's the next pump and dump. It's over. It's done, et cetera. And the community, we're all sitting here going, oh, no, we're just warming up. <laughs> like, like if the That's devs, right. is, you're going to talk to press Absolutely. Tabs, the, the development's incredible. You know, the roadmap's incredible for 2018. The community's incredible. Um, so I'm, you know, again, I'm very honored. And it's a shout out. And, and a thankfulness to those who are Pivians around the world. I mean, there's people in Pivians. South Africa, there's people in Cancun. Cancun's turning purple. You, like in Anarchapoco, I mean, like we're going to go over to Cancun and just hang out because I think there's like seven restaurants now and a hotel. Oh, like, man. Use Pivik, so that is amazing. It's, it's grassroots, right? Dude, like, exactly. It's, grassroots. That's right. It's, it's people. So, and well, look, I'm ever the, since me and, me and Mike started getting, becoming friends, like uh, the. He taught me this hashtag term, analogy, uh, acronym, excuse me, JFDI, right? Yep. Right? Some, <laughs> some of y'all may already know it. Yep. And it just spoke to me, man. Like, that's who I am. Like, I don't have time to sit around. And for those wondering, it means just do something, all right? Just go, just go do the job. That's what JFDI yep. stands for. You can fill in the blanks. Nevertheless, but, you know, like, it just, it just spoke to me. And, and the way that he said things, it's, it's just who I am. So yeah. if I got an idea, I'm ready to do it right then. You know, it's not like I need to wait. Like, I'm, I'm prepared just because I know me, right? And that's, so anyways. Yeah. That's yep. Pivx. Exactly. So that's, well, I, well, I'll say that. That's, that's people. And that's the thing is, whether you're, not, whether you're in Pivx or not, Look, I think that's not the point. The point is what Pivx is doing for a lot of people in the communities and crypto, et cetera, is empowerment, right? So whether it's CCT, you're empowering people with information to then go out and make informed trades, to get involved in projects, to get part of a community. It's the same thing in Pivx, just we're using actual cryptocurrency and, and a token and building a community. Why? Absolutely. Because the JFDI is, look, people come into the community and go, well, well how can I help? And we turn and look at them and say, what do you like to do? Yeah. And a lot of people go, well, what do you mean? Like, aren't you going to tell me what to do? And we go, no, go do it. JFDI, whatever you love, go. Handle, so all bro. of a sudden you see people go, what? Like, I can just do this and print stuff and go around. Yeah, exactly. You can go do it. So, look, I, yeah. you just got me so fired up. I'm ready to like stand up, maybe lift some weights and run around the block. Let's you know, go. I'm excited right now, Joe. Because <laughs> that's how I see CCT people. And I think the people of CCT relate to that, you know, that grassroots effort. And I'm telling y'all, I didn't bring on Pivx for no reason. They're not one of my top 2018 coins for no reason. This mentality is the reason why. And so, you know, uh, look, Brian, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and get Tom on. But, man, I, we're going to do this again. This won't be the last time we have you on. Um, awesome. I can't wait to see you in Miami. We'll talk after yeah. this as well, one way or the next. Uh, but, dude, bro, thanks for your time, man. It's just been, Thank it's you. been stellar. Absolutely. Thank you. And, look, uh, again, Mike, shout out to you. I'll give you another one. But, hey, Brian, we'll talk soon, man. And, uh, again, dude, from, awesome. just from the bottom of CCT's heart, hey, everybody watching right now, give them some thumbs up and some hearts, man. Woo! Show them some love. You Thank know, look, you, guys. Look, we're going to see you soon, man, all right? Awesome. Bye, guys. Bye, right, brother. Bye. Love you. 
All right, Tom, are you ready? All right, here comes part two, people. So uh, we just had the pleasure of having, um, having Brian on. I'm about to bring on Tom. Okay, so Tom, what Brian is, he's one of the community developers. Thank you, everybody, for the likes. That's for you, Brian, if, you, if you're watching. Um, we're going to go ahead and put Tom on now. Here we go, press tab. His name is literally press tab on Facebook, people. There hey, he how's is. It going? What's up, Tom? How's it going, man? It's going pretty good. Uh, thanks for having me on. Happy New Year. Absolutely, dude. Same to you. Uh, we're grateful here on CCT to have uh, – hey, look, this is the first two-part uh, – uh, live session we've ever done like this, you know, so to have one, the community developer side, and now we get the tech side. So a lot of people who, who understand the tech, not me. So I'm going to talk to you like a noob, as I've told you already, but, uh, it, we, it's a pleasure for us <laughs> to have you guys. Yeah. Thanks for having us for sure. All right. So let's go ahead and start off with this. Tell, tell the people of CCT what you do and who you are within Pivx, and don't say just this time. <laughs> So I am a core developer for Pivx. I go by the handle. You know, you guys were talking about the really, really cool handles that people go by. Mine is press tab. Um, so that's who I go by online. Um, I'm one of the core developers. I mostly focus on sort of, sort of the uh, very detailed blockchain code and uh, the zero coin code that we've done for Pivx. And... Uh, a lot of the proof of stake code. So that's what I focus on and, uh, you know, work with the other core developers. And that's what I like to do. I like to code. I like to leave the rest of the marketing and everything to uh, the team at Pivx. And uh, yeah. That's, hey, absolutely. Uh, absolutely. Okay. So um, we're going to, you're going to have to explain press tab a little bit later down the line today, but just so go ahead and prepare for that. If you have to make up a story on the fly, that's cool too, but nevertheless. <laughs> all right. So let's go ahead and start from the beginnings and we kind of hit this with Brian a little bit, but um, you know, as a, as a, as a code fork of dash, which is a fork of Bitcoin, but moving into what you guys were, which was Darknet, correct? I believe is what he said. Um, now, mm -hmm. in, that, in that birthday of that rebrand is of today. Let's, let's just take us through like the development side and what maybe inspired the fork initially and then even to the point where why you guys rebranded and, and the updates from there and, and all the way to zero coin or the zero update. Excuse me. So I actually was not part of the launch of the coin. Um, I sort of was doing work as a freelance blockchain developer. And so I wasn't part of the decision to forfeit from Dash or I didn't even know that, you know, Darknet was a thing when it launched. Um, they, uh, Seven Hacks, uh, sort of one of the founders came to me to help convert that Dash code after they launched from proof of work using all of the mining equipment and the energy and electricity into a proof of stake only coin. And he said, you know, this is, this is going to be hard. Nobody's done this. And I looked at the code base and it was hard, but, uh, I was able to, uh, convert it to proof of stake. You know, it took, it took some work, but, but we got it done. And that's sort of uh, what got me started with Darknet at the time. Um, and then I sort of stuck around since then and, you know, saw the rebrand and saw the community really get on board with it. And once the community and uh, a bigger team started forming around Pivx was when I was, when I saw that it was really unique compared to a lot of the other coins I had worked on. I mean, I'd never seen anything like it. I've worked on a lot of coins and usually just say, yeah, just, you know, pay me my fee and, and I'll do the code for you and then I'll, I'll get out of here. But I saw there was something very unique about Pivx and stuck around. Uh, we were able to pick up quite a few more uh, very smart developers on the team. And uh, from there, we've worked on quite a few things, including, you know, multi-signature transactions, uh, privacy that's based on zero coin. Um, you know, right now I'm working on being able to stake zero coins, which is going to be really cool. Uh, so that's, that's sort of how I joined on the team and, and how I got to where I am now. It's a, it's a great position to be in and, uh, it's an awesome community. 
Cool, man. Well, Jim, we were talking about this, Brian. I'm sure you got to watch a lot of it. Uh, he fired me up. I got real excited, by, by the, especially towards the end. Uh, nevertheless, you know, the community itself is, is special with Pivx. It reminds me a lot of, of our own community here on CCT, very grassroots, as we spoke about. But um, what also I found out about Pivx, and, and this is really what intrigued me, is it's a very educated community. And, I mean, obviously that, that kind of comes from the top down from you guys. You know, I'm sure that you made it a, made a, a conscious effort trying to make sure everybody knew what was going on. But when you go talk to the Pivx, and he explained it perfectly about coming to our table, you know, you don't get a bunch of assholes. You get a bunch of people who just love what they're doing, and they're not shilling Pivx. You don't ever see the, the shills. You just see people who already believe in what they're doing. And so that's a, that's a true testament to what is going on within the community. But what we don't know is a lot about is what's going on behind the scenes that gives the people the, the trust and the belief in that. And clearly it's, it's there because they're still, they're still holding on and, 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 and they believe, you know, but what is it that you guys have done to kind of implement the community within the development side? And um, I kind of tie that in with, you know, how you guys are able to use the community to make sure that whatever's going to be the updates, they have a say so in it. Well, since we are a code fork of dash, we inherited their governance system. Uh, which means that um, master nodes can vote yes or no on any proposal that's made uh, through the network. And so we really get the community involved with any of the major decisions on uh, the future of the coin and uh, really go by the vote of what the community decides. If they were to decide, you know, that uh, maybe they don't want proof of stake anymore and, and we need to change it back to proof of work, then we listen to the community and what they say. Um, but, on a, but on a sort of different note on that, with that voting system, we also have a funding system that people vote on how funds are used. So we have a variety of different teams that are being funded by the community's votes, uh, which includes a support team, uh, the development team, a mobile development team, and so sort of behind the scenes, uh, we're able to, as the core developers, meet with the support team, you know, once or twice a week and go over any of their concerns and sort of trickle down sort of that high level uh, developer talk into, Absolutely. you know, language that's understandable by the support team. And they're able to translate that another, another time into language that's understandable by you know, a new user. So I think that's something that's been really successful. All right. So, and that's an awesome explanation. I appreciate you taking the time to explain that. Um, Let's talk. Okay. So keep in mind, there's a lot of people maybe who don't understand the tech and maybe, I mean, obviously you're, you're on a whole nother level than most people just in this world, let alone, you know, even in crypto. Uh, But kind of take us through what, what Pivx actually does and what you guys are attempting to do, not attempting, what you guys are doing right now, what ZeroCoin is and the benefits of the, of the transaction process that Pivx has brought onto the table. So Pivx is sort of hard to say it just does one thing because it's one of those coins that really focuses on doing a lot of things, but doing it in a usable way, which a lot of the other more technical uh, coins, you know, aren't very usable. So one of the things that we focused on is having a very usable, um, secure uh, protocol uh, for zero coin transactions that, uh, anonymize what you're doing. Um, so we launched that about two months ago. Um, so now you have the option of using private transactions uh, as well as normal transactions that you're used to on any other cryptocurrency. Um, and basically what Zero Coin is doing is it's allowing you to convert your regular Pivx coins into Zero Coins. And then when you go to spend one of those Zero Coins, it's not related to any single entity that you can go back and say, oh, this address sent me that zero coin. Cool, uh, cool. So there's just no linkage there. And uh, that's one of, one of the major benefits of what Pivx is working on right now. And uh, we yes. keep making that better and better. All right, so what is the time frame on that? What are you guys, what, what, is, what is the process and, and kind of the roadmap leading up to all this? So we started on the zero coin development in uh, May, and I think we launched it uh, at the end of October. So uh, it took uh, quite a lot of work. We had five developers working on it over the summer and did quite a bit of testing. You know, cool. as with any major rollout, there 
uh, are a little bit, there's some kinks here or there that we have been able to improve. And right now we're in the middle of some development that will make it uh, much quicker, easier, more user-friendly. Uh, and that should be rolling out within the next few months, probably. As so is in crypto, I mean, you, you work out these kind of kinks because we're all paving the way, you know, whether it's the social media aspect or whether it's the development side, you know, we're all, you know, anybody, any leaders in the space and whether you're, you know, a privacy coin or you're, you're running CCT, whatever it might be, we're all running into things a lot of times for the first time. So what have been some of the challenges? What, have, what has been some of the biggest hurdles that you guys had to overcome? I think uh, some of the biggest challenges are um, with these major updates and these kinks, uh, the challenge has been to communicate effectively with everybody that's using the coin. Um, and I think we have that system down now, but with so many users and especially so many people flooding into the uh, digital currency space right now, it's, it's been a little bit of a challenge to make sure that we're utilizing all of the different methods of communication because, you know, not everybody's getting on Discord or Bitcoin right. talk, you know, there's a lot of just normal people out there that just want to be on an email list. And, you know, yep. how do you get that communication to them quickly and effectively uh, to let them know that they need to update or anything like that? Absolutely. All right, man. So it's the brand new year. It's Pivix's birthday from the rebrand a year ago. What can the Pivix community and CCT community expect out of Pivix coming up in 2018? Um, well, if you followed Pivix in 2017, you know that it was uh, quite a crazy year. Um, we got a lot done and turned it from, you know, a, a pretty standard clone of Dash into something very unique. Uh, if you thought that 2017 was exciting, then you're in for a good one for 2018 because our roadmap is uh, pretty crazy, but we have a lot of people working on it, so we'll be able to deliver a lot of that. Um, I think the first thing coming up is going to be our um, application on iOS, uh, so mobile users will be able to use uh, the wallet on iOS finally. Cool. Um, that is cool. And then one of... One of the things that I'm uh, really excited for is what we're calling ZDEX, which is going to be a decentralized exchange where you can exchange Bitcoin and maybe a few other currencies uh, directly into zero coins, which we call ZPIV, uh, right from your Pivx wallet uh, without a trusted third party or anything like that. Uh, so uh, that's yeah. what I'm most excited for. So, but there's a lot of uh, other great things on our roadmap too. And, you know, I, I don't, I hate to use the comparisons, you know, a lot of people, especially, I don't know if you guys mind this or not, but, you know, because you are a fork of Dash, you know, there are a lot of similarities as the governance system, as you said, and even just the, the, the original, you know, layout of, of the code. I mean, it's, it's a, it's a code fork. So, you know, that being said, look what, look what Dash has done. And I'm t mainly talking to the community here. Look what Dash has done in just like the year 2017. There's no reason in my mind that you can't see some of the same progress on a mass scale in the acceptance of dash on a as a power coin one day you know i mean that's it's got everything that i'm looking for when it comes to you know what we're what the, the obstacles we're facing as a community as a crypto in general you know so i think it's really awesome to have someone like you come on tom i mean it's truly incredible truly to have someone of your of your knowledge base you know to be able to share your, your experiences and, and what you guys have been doing but you know it's it's just one of those those coins and those projects that's taking it to the next step and i just commend you and i'm just so proud of the work that you guys have done not just for pivx but for crypto in general you guys are looking out for the best interest we have a saying here on on uh, cct it's uh you know the cryptoverse belongs to all of us take care of it you know um and that goes between individual relationships and it goes into the projects you know we need to support good projects this is why i've chosen pivx as one of my 2018 coins and i have a few others you know but uh y'all are the first ones to jump on for a reason and uh and i couldn't be more proud to be able to to, to present you and and brian and the pivx team you know to to this community for those and like ours too i mean pivx uh, the honest good people out there that are are here to make um transacting and banking and all of that into a you know decentralized trustless system where one person is not ahead of the other and so it's just awesome seeing uh all these people uh, supporting those ideals absolutely man absolutely well you got anything else you want to uh, maybe so that i miss um you know i uh, i guess the only the only other thing that i would mention is that 
Uh, we've been talking about uh, the governance system, which we inherited from Dash. We plan on changing that pretty dramatically this year, later this year, which will allow for much more active uh, participation within the voting system from everyday users of the coin instead of people that uh, can only afford a master node. So uh, that's that's one thing that we didn't touch on, but that Absolutely. will be uh, And that means that, not to feature. interrupt you, um, I kind of mentioned this to you, and, and as everybody knows, for the, I, I spoke to both Brian and Tom for 15 minutes, about 20 minutes before this thing went live, you know. And so we, we just touched on a few things, main points, and I forgot I was going to ask you about this, but was the uh, was maybe some, some future, not necessarily partners, but things that you can expect moving forward to be able to incorporate PIVX into maybe another project or something or the other. And you kind of touched on a little bit about how, how much the community is involved, but maybe you can explain that as well. And, uh, and it's just something I think is really cool and that the community deserves to kind of understand a little bit coming from a developer's mouth, you know? Yeah, so as we get this uh, voting system more accessible to normal users, we'll be able to let um, the community as a whole participate in uh, partnerships, and mm -hmm. decision making on partnerships in general, uh, instead of having it a top down waterfall style system that you'd maybe see at a corporation, which you know lots of the time isn't effective, uh, we'll be able to include the community in decisions on who we partner with, how we partner with people. And I know that our team behind the scenes is is working pretty hard on a few partnerships uh, that I can't really say on live. You know, Facebook stream right now, but why I, not, I know man? Something. Just say it, bro. No one's gonna say anything. Go <laughs> ahead. I'm just joking. Well, I, no, I'm, I, I'm the development team, not the marketing team. So <laughs> fair enough. No, you know what? What that just says to me is, you know, it it just speaks to the core values of what crypto started as, which is, you know, it's peer to peer. It's trustless. We can all do this together, and you can be held accountable through the, that transparency. You know, um, I just think that's really cool, man. And I just, I really could, I just, I, I'll say it again. I'm just proud of what you guys have accomplished already, and what you're what you're shooting for shoot for the stars man you know and so i am just i'm just excited to see what happens for 2018 again this is one of my 2018 holds i will be holding this pivx coin for at least 12 months if not longer awesome i'm, I'm glad you're able to see the same vision in uh pivx that i do absolutely man all right well look tom man i uh, appreciate you and brian coming on uh mike thanks again mike plebman thank you for uh setting all this up i'll see all three of you in miami and what you know, a week and a half. And so uh, that'll be fun. I look forward to that. Um, you know, and look, let me know when you guys are ready to come back on. We'll have you. Awesome. Hey, thanks for having me and have a happy new year. Absolutely. Same to you, man. And happy birthday, Pivix. Later. All right, everybody. So uh, we were very uh, fortunate to have both of those gentlemen on, um, you know, uh, uh, press tab and uh, snappy snap. Um, both those dudes are, uh, are people that have accomplished a lot in this space. Uh, as you can see, they're exceptionally humble, uh, but they, you, can, you also know that they're very confident and they believe in what they're doing. Um, one of the reasons why, and this was already touched on a little bit, but one of the reasons why this was uh, important for me to get Pivx on was because they're doing what I believe is at the heart of the crypto community. You can watch and see how they they operate, and you can see that they put the community first, and they know that that's where that's where home is. the The home is in the community. Same thing that we do here on uh, on CCT. And so um, I, I just I, I look at what they're doing, and I can just say it like this: If I was a developer of, of a coin, if I was a CEO of a coin, or you know, um, in charge of a project like that, you know, I would want to mimic the way that that Pivx is doing things in in that regard. So um, I appreciate uh, I appreciate that opportunity to really interview him and while i see you on here ben thanks for calling me while i was doing this live interview brother um it's only been all over facebook that i was doing this interview today uh but ben in the middle of this interview called me everybody you know one of the, one of the co-founders of cct gonna call his boy on the phone while well, i don't know if that was a joke maybe it was give me a hard time uh anyways all right so uh, i'm gonna wrap this up um we're uh, mike again i see you on there right now bro cheers to you man look forward to seeing you in miami we'll see you soon um you know and uh, i'll finish it up with this Folks, the cryptoverse belongs to all of us, to me, to you. From, it's just, it's ours, all right? So take care of it. Invest in good projects, believe in good projects, push good projects that are going to make us proud, right? And uh, if, you know, you're pushing coins that, that don't 
necessarily fit into that mold, you know, then you're here just for the money. And I know there's plenty of people in here that are in here just for the money. It's your prerogative. It's a libertarian society. You know, it's uh, take care of your own. Um, but do it the right way, right? Um, you can take care of the space and re recognize how special it is. Uh, people like Pivx, uh, the Pivx team, you know, they're, they're doing that right now. And so that's that's something I, I truly am endeared by, and I just want to be more like. It just inspires me. Y'all saw I got it fired up. I want to go, you know, you know, throw things around the room and, and jump up and down. Anyways, but until next time, happy New Year, CCT. Let's make 2018 amazing. And, uh, you know, shout out again to the Pivx team. I can't wait to get my Pivx swag. I asked for it. Couldn't get it in time. But uh, wait. Hold on. What is going on here? Let's see what is going on. Hold on. What's he doing? Oh, okay. All right. All right. Never mind. I thought we had another uh, invitation for someone to join. All right. Until next time, CCT. We'll talk soon.